Okay, so recently I picked up this toy box at a car boot sale. It was a bit of a bargain, but we've done our bedroom in a coastal kind of style, so really nautical. We've got really lovely like creams and taupes and pastel blues. And the bright pink blanket box probably isn't on that theme, so it needs a bit of a restyling. Um, so on the top, what I've gone for is this Driftwood style DC fix, which has got a really lovely, it's kind of like lollipop sticks um, pattern going through it with all those colours that will fit in really nicely with the theme of the bedroom. I've teamed it with a solid grey and a solid white DC fix, which I'm going to use for these front sections and a strip around the lid of the box as well. Um, then in terms of equipment, the bits and pieces that we need to do this one, um, you've got your pencil and tape measure just so you can measure out exactly the sizes that you need, the screwdriver and a new handle so I can just uh, refresh this pink one with a white one that will go more in keeping with the style of the new box. And then you've got your DC Fix application kit which comes with a scalpel and a smoother. So again that just helps to give it a really nice finish, gets rid of any creases and bubbles and stuff and some scissors so I can trim the paper and finally I've got a metal ruler which I find just helps to weigh down the roll when you're cutting it out otherwise it springs back a bit like wrapping paper you know and it ends up everywhere so I'm going to start by measuring out the top of the box and then I'm just going to allow a couple of extra centimetres on both sides for an overhang and then I can trim it off to get a really nice clean finish on it I just like to trim it down so you reduce some of the bulk of having the roll on there otherwise you find that this can be a bit weighty and when you start sticking it on it pulls the plastic back so I'm just going to reduce some of that by trimming it down and there are grid lines on the back of the backing paper as well so you can just use those, they're in centimetre blocks Okay, so now I've got the um, top section paper ready to go, and when I've got where I've got the two straight edges w which haven't been cut, so I know that they're completely straight. I'm going to line those up with the um, front and the end of the box, and then I'm going to trim at the back, so I haven't got to trim all four edges. So now we just peel back the um, edge of the paper, and I always like to create a lip that you can just um, pull back on. So if you go all the way along the end, just create a crease. And then you've got something to grip onto as you put it back. So the thing with DC Fix as well is it is repositional. So as you go, if you find that you've got a bit that's gone a bit wonky or maybe there's a crease or a bubble that you can't get out using the smoother, you can just pull the paper back and reposition it. So you don't have to fret that once it's on, it's that's it, it's all fixed and it's all over, game over. It's not like that at all. You can redo it if you need to. So this is your best friend in this situation. You've got a felt covered side on the smoother and you can just use that to ease out all of the bubbles and you push towards the edges so obviously the air can escape. So I'm just gonna start by doing that on the end there where I've adhered it. And then using that lip of paper that we uh, started to pull back, going from side to side, I'm just gonna keep peeling that paper back and keeping an eye on the front. I really want to try and keep that straight and flush against the edge. What you do find as well is sometimes you get a sneaky bubble that you can't see from one angle. So if you do just come down to eye level or just jump around the other side and have a look, sometimes you can spot um, a crease or a bubble that maybe you hadn't seen to start with. So it's just worth double checking. Right, I think that's all good. What I'm going to do now is just use the scalpel from the application kit and trim around the edges. This has got rounded corners on the lid of the blanket box. So I just need to make sure that I push that right in up against the lip of the edge. Okay, so that's the lid done, and as I said, we've gone for the nautical style theme on the top. That's gonna to be way too busy, I think, if I cover the whole box in that. So now I'm gonna to jump to the front sections. The first thing to do is take off the sparkly pink handle because we're gonna upgrade that to something a bit more in keeping. So I'm just gonna use the screwdriver. And then what I've done is pre-cut sections for this main front panel, because obviously now I'm working on a completely flat surface, which is much easier. And I've gone for a gray for this bit. And then for the banded section, all the way across the front and sides, I've pre-cut some white block sections. And again, these are oversized and I'll use the scalpel to trim them down, particularly because there's a curved edge here. Um, I don't want to cut that exactly to size, it's easy to just trim it away. Um, so with this grey bit to start with, you'll notice that there's, I don't know if you can see, kind of like an alcove, maybe a centimetre or so, which means there's an internal corner that I need to push the plastic into. So what I've done is allowed an overhang, so measured this section, then added a centimetre for the, um, the alcove bit, and then added a bit on as well so I can trim away. And then also, I've just cut, if you can see here, a corner like a little square out of this section, which allows me to push it in and get it right into the groove of this um, little bit here. Again, this is when you can use your smoother, but it's got a bit of a different purpose this time. You're gonna use the felt covered side again, but you can use it to create a fold in the paper so you can see exactly where it fits and it just helps it to um, sit in the right place. Okay, so once you've done that first side and got it all lined up, you can just peel back the rest of the plastic and work all the way across the front section and just take your time, again, using this to really make sure you get into the edges. 
Okay, so just finishing off the other side and making sure I've got it right into the edges in this corner too. And now what I'm gonna do is work on these uh, banded sections on either side and I've pre-cut those in the white. But first of all, what's probably best is if I do just trim away the excess that I've got on the top and the side because then I've got a clear surface to work with on the front of the box. So now what I'm gonna do is use the pre-cut white section to cover this band here and just line up the straight edges and trim away the excess on the curve. And I've already done the same on the other side so I'm gonna move now onto the uh, band across the front. So again, I've pre-cut that in a white and it's just a rectangular strip. So just sticking on the edges and using the straight edge on the top of the box and then I'm going to pull back the backing paper and just ease that towards me. Great, so what I'm going to do now is also cut another strip to go around the lip of the lid. So this is just going to be one long thin strip, exactly the same process as I've done with those front ones. So I'll show you that when it's all done in a second. Great, so the final thing to do is to put the new handle back on. So I just need to find, if I open the lid, uh, where that hole is and pop the new handle in. I'm going to push it through from the back just so I can see where it needs to come out the other side. And you can even use your scalpel just to create a tiny little uh, notch so it can push through more easily. So that's it, all done and dusted. I'm really, really pleased with this. I think the driftwood looks really beautiful on the top. I love that nautical sort of um, pastel topes and natural colours that I think will go really beautifully in our coastal themed bedroom. And you certainly wouldn't know that this was covered in stickers and pink and white paint underneath. So it just has revamped it, given it a completely new lease of life. And I'm gonna go and pop that at the end of our bed now. I'm going to use it as a blanket box.